Hey, what's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to part two of our uh, creating a rock, paper, scissors game from scratch with Python. And if you missed part one, I recommend you go and check that out. Essentially what we created was a format where you pick RP or S and then the computer picks RP or S just so you don't have to type in rock, paper, or scissors every time. And the computer's pick is randomly generated using the random integer function and then we process whether that would be a win loss or draw based on what you and the computer have picked so today we're going to look at some things that just make it a more fun game a more reusable code and this isn't just specific to rock paper scissors this is kind of a good practice thing to do for python so what we're going to do is we're going to create a game loop and basically anytime you're creating a reusable code you're going to want to do something along these lines so we'll say for this while play again does not equal no um, and uh, while play again does not equal no we'll run rock paper scissors but then what we need to do is we need to actually get the status of that play again variable from rock paper scissors so that we don't have an infinite game loop um, but then let's go ahead and do, 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 uh, also pass in this actually we don't need to pass it in we're gonna get that back from them so uh, what we want to do every time the game is finished so draw loss or win is we then want to create this like play again prompt and we want it to be an input where we ask the user would you uh, let's just keep it short and say play again question mark and then let's tell them we would like to get back either yes or no Okay, and let's put that in uh, all three scenarios. And then let's go ahead and return once the loop is, uh, once the if statement has executed, let's go ahead and return the play again prompt. And so uh, let's just run that and see if it lets us keep playing. And no is not defined. Play again. Oh, play again is not defined, right, yeah. <laughs> Um, so we'll just come up here in the beginning and we will create an empty string called play again. So the initialize the variable. Let's go ahead and say rock. We lost, but we want to play again. And let's do paper. And we won. And do we want to play again? No, I won. Okay, so that exits the code. That's cool. Um, we just created replayability. But then what else would be kind of nice in this uh, function is if we also added some score tracking. So there are basically three outcomes that could happen. We could have wins. Um, losses and draws or ties and so we'll just start out by making all three of those zeros but then every time we call this function to have those updated we have to pass in win loss and draw or we would have to make them global variables um, and then to update them in the outside world we're also gonna have to make sure that we're updating them out here so let's go ahead and create them and losses draws create them everywhere and pay special attention to order because this does matter so for our rock paper scissors game now we are going to be passing in wins losses and draws and what's kind of nice is we already wrote the code in part one for tracking the scenario under which you would win or you would lose um, or tie so we'll go ahead and now we can just easily update the variables to add one to themselves every time something happens so um, here's losses add one to it and then here's wins add one to it so it's basically incrementing every time that scenario happens and then the last piece to make this really useful is going to be um, print a score prompt so let's go ahead and print and we'll say wins colon space and then we'll add the variable wins but that's going to be an integer so make sure you add the str function to make it a string and then we'll add another one and we'll start with a space and say losses colon space and then let's add the string version of losses and let's just do it one more time for draws and then we'll do We'll do the string of the variable draws. And I'm just going to copy this exactly. Copy this and put it in all three places. 
So hopefully every single iteration of this game loop as the score increments, um, we also see win loss draw um, going up. Draw is not defined because it needs to be plural. Alrighty, let's try running that again. All right, let's pick rock and we tied. Okay, but then we can see the score up updating. So we picked paper. Oh, I'm supposed to enter yes. <laughs> okay, uh, now we pick paper and we won and let's play again and let's pick rock and let's play again and let's pick scissors okay well we can see our score and our losses uh, counting up and counting up now let's say no we're done all right and we've exited um, one thing I like to add to most of my functions uh, especially for making a game or something that was supposed to be fun for the user I like to print a statement on the way out that just says like thanks for playing or something like that you know um, and so this way after you play rock okay I won cool now I want to leave no you just leave them with a nice little message um, so this is pretty cool we just built a, a really fun replayable rock paper scissors against a computer like AI um, in just a few minutes and hopefully you found this useful if you have any questions about this or anything you'd like to see next be sure to let me know about in the comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you found this or anything else on the channel useful, I really appreciate liking and subscribe. It helps the channel out a ton as I'm getting started here. And as always, good luck with your code and thanks for watching. Thanks. Bye.